Hello and welcome to On Location with Scott. I am Scott and today we are talking about your photographs. The weekly challenge or bi-weekly challenge if you will. Um, before I get into it, we have a couple things to cover. The first thing to cover is our joke. How did the telephone propose to its girlfriend? How did the girl telephone propose to its girlfriend? Well, he gave her a ring. <laughs> Okay, really bad? Okay, the second thing we got to cover is... <laughs> that's really bad. The second thing we got to cover is the next topic. And the next topic will be food. So, submit your food pictures. Um, you got a week to do this or so. Next, Not this live stream that just passed. But, you know, by next Wednesday or so. And that'll be, what, April fourth or fifth somewhere around there so I can edit it anyway those those are the two things we have to cover that sick joke and next week's topic is food now let's get right into the photos that you guys submitted to me first one up is from my friend Terry Trentman one and a picture of a cat and it's a great picture of the cat and it blurs the background out the bunny in the background is a little bit distracting from the cat you have to actually go searching for the cat picture but you know what if you could have taken that cat and maybe changed the pillow so the bunny head was right beside it and make it all in focus it would have been looking like they both posed for it kind of thing but I mean it's a great picture of the cat the eyes are crystal sharp tack sharp and it's it works out and you blurred the thing but the bunny's a little bit of a distraction okay on to the next one Next is my buddy Glenn. You can see that he caught this from his car dash cam and it's a little deer coming across the road. It's a little hard to see. It's on the left hand third. Um, yeah, I mean it's nice to capture wildlife, that's for sure. So that's just a dash cam one. You can see the snow is still there. You got two weeks to get rid of it Glenn because I'm on my way home after that. <laughs> okay, next. This one is uh, one that I took with a camcorder. Yeah, my camcorder. This one is of a mallard duck, a female sitting on a nest. It's just a picture of a duck with a camcorder. So, point being there, you could take a good picture with anything, even a camcorder. Not a bad picture. Next is my buddy Paul. Adventures with Sog, colon, GTR. That's how he used to be known as GTR, but he changed it to Adventures with Sog. And he's got this little bird feeding out of his hand. I love this photograph. Anytime you can get a wildlife in the palm of your hands, you've done a great, great job. I like that, Paul. Nice shot. Next is my buddy Driveshaft Drew. And Drew captured these two deer over on the road over there. And one I mean, it's a distance away, and he caught it with his phone in the middle of the night, or when he leaves for work, I suspect. And uh, it's great. Anytime you can see wildlife, it's good. And deer, or even better. Next is my buddy Terry. He's got a cat again. And this cat looks miserable all the time, but it looks like she's trying to hide behind the, the leaves and the flowers and within the stuffed animals in the picture. So it's kind of a cute photograph. The rule of thirds are really well done here. It's 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 a good little picture of a cat that looks miserable. And the last but not least was one of mine, and it's my my puppy dog Katie. I did a a portrait of it, and I got into the little bit more of the dramatic stuff. I was playing with some of the settings on my Sony ZV-1, bring down a lot of the light, and just captured the eye and the highlights of the the hair. And even at that, I couldn't get it any lower. Um, the highlights are a little blown out, but it's one of my favorite pictures of Katie. Well, that wraps it up for this, this segment. And if you want to see some of the other pictures, like the other critique, check over here. And if you want to see my, some of my playlists, we'll put up a drone playlist over here. Again, thanks for watching. Until I see you again. Cheers.